incredible shrinking car drive sideways to park in tiny spaces. As cities continue to grow at a dizzying rate, commuters are constantly battling ever-increasing congestion on the roads and a lack of parking just to get to work. But now a team of German engineers have come up with an ingenious solution, a flexible electric vehicle capable of shrinking, driving sideways think like a crab and turning on a dime. The EO Smart Connecting Car 2 is an innovative design from DFK I Robotics Innovation Center, based in Bremen, Germany, where a team of software developers and designers, as well as electronics and construction engineers, have been refining the Smart Microcar project for the last three years. First announced in 2012, the team have moved on to their second iteration of the vehicle. It drives like a traditional car but because each wheel is powered by its own motor, it also has the capability of driving sideways, allowing it to slide into tight spaces in urban areas where parking is limited, explains Timo Bernskin, project manager for the vehicle. He adds, the whole process, the transition between normal driving and driving sideways, takes about 4 seconds. The prototype has a top speed of 65 km h or 40 mph and can travel 50 to 70 km 30 to 44 miles on a single 4-hour full charge of the battery. But it's the two-seater's ability to shrink to around 1.5 meters in length that has the team excited about its uses in future cities, says Bernski and it is able to reduce its own size by about 80 centimeters, which makes it almost as small as a bike in length. And with this kind of feature you can go into very tiny parking spaces, he says. You are still able to turn on the spot, you are still able to drive sideways and you are still able to connect to charging stations, for example. Looking like part transformer and part DeLorean out of Back to the Future, the car reduces its size by partly folding itself. It shifts the rear axle to the front and slides on a set of rails which raises the interior upwards, while still remaining comfortable for the passenger. Touted as a microcar for a mega city, the team are working hard to make their vehicle roadworthy and envision it as a communal public resource, similar to existing urban car sharing schemes. The idea is that when you need a car, you could head to your nearest docking station and select the vehicle that's charged enough to drive the distance you need. It would then detach itself and you would be on your way. It is very comparable feature-wise to the first prototype, says Bernskin. The second version is much more reliable and almost road legal. It's not really, but it's almost there and we are trying to bring this car to the road, but it's a big hassle to be honest because we have so many new technologies in the car that the technical advisory guys are skeptical. He adds that the team have invited several manufacturers to test drive the vehicle, with positive response, but the enthusiasm ends there. The problem is for most car manufacturers, they are not really interested if they didn't invent it themselves. They may buy from Bosch or Siemens or whatever, technology parts like ESP and other things, but not complete systems. But his team remain undeterred as they continue working on autonomous features like autopilot and self-parking. Meanwhile Bernski likens the situation to the rise in smartphones over the last decade, from non-existence to oversaturation.